Welcome to this session of Go Ask Debbie, Excel Charts, Styles, Colors, and Filters. Now let's start working with our charts. Whether you use the icon to the right of the chart or the Add Chart Element option on the Design tab on the ribbon, there are a number of elements that you can customize for your chart, including the axes, the axis titles, the chart title, the data labels, data table, grid lines, and the legend. These are all elements of the chart we just learned about earlier. Using the plus sign, we'll simply click on the plus sign on the right side of the chart, and a box will open allowing us to either check or uncheck the element we'd like to add or remove. Many of the elements include a small arrow to the right of the option. If you click the arrow, you'll see additional options. The format pane for the selected element will then open. You can then select certain options to format that element. Next, let's talk about chart styles and colors. The chart style gallery includes a number of predefined formats to enhance the look of your chart. You can easily select a new style that changes the look of the chart elements. You can also select new colors for the chart. The available color palettes are based on the theme colors used in your workbook. You can customize these from the Page Layout tab, as we've discussed in an earlier module of Excel. So to change the chart style, we'll select our chart you'd like to format, and select the Paintbrush icon to the right of the chart. Scroll through the list to find your desired chart style. To select new chart colors, we'll select the chart we'd like to format, Select the paintbrush icon to the right of the chart, just as we did with styles, and then select the color tab. And then simply select the desired color palette. You can edit what data points and names are visible on your chart by using the chart filter options. Once again, select the chart you'd like to format or filter in this case, and select the funnel sign on the right side of the chart. Simply check the box of the value you want to add or uncheck to remove the option. Now that you've learned about the elements of a chart and how to work with charts a bit, perform your exercise and you'll get much better at making your charts unique and really valuable to you and your organization and your specific spreadsheet. Thanks for taking this session of Go Ask Debbie. And be sure to subscribe for more tips like this one.